Hello cardboard lovers, it's Cardboard Badger here. I hope you're doing well and today we have for you a brief discussion about Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-earth and one of the new products that will be coming out shortly. In fact, two of them are going to be coming out shortly because for the first time ever we have not only one uh, collector booster box but we have two because as I was searching through to see exactly how much the normal ones are on Thursday about four days ago they're currently about $420. I ended up with some artwork in front of me thinking, wow, this is an amazing looking box, uh, but I haven't seen this before. What on earth is it? Well, it was a collector booster, a special edition collector booster. I'll put a link in the description below of uh, Wizards article regarding the obscene number of uh, products that you can get for Lord of the Rings. Uh, it also has a breakdown of when everything's coming out and after the 23rd of June um, we have a little time to wait but later on in the year we are going to be hit with some additional stock and that includes this new special edition collector booster um, it was on Friday for $350 I believe uh, and then when checking on Saturday it completely disappeared and um, the search is basically saying that it is currently unavailable and that is that but the question is what exactly are we going to find in this particular product because there are some vast differences so the article reads not all who wander are lost in addition to the june 23rd release we have even more lord of the rings tales of middle earth uh, to share this year uh, we're adding to the celebration on November the 3rd with special scene boxes uh, that show off more of the iconic moments from Lord of the Rings. More of the Jumpstart that you love with Jumpstart Volume 2 and with the special edition of Collector Boosters with a new type of foil treatment that you will have to wait and see. It goes on to explain that the special edition collector boosters do not contain serialized cards including the serialized elven dwarven and human soul rings and the one ring serialized one of one so it's another way of getting slightly confused you are not going to be getting anything serialized from this particular product you will have to go to the normal original collector booster box it also says special booster fun each booster will be packed with special alt art alt frame cards i'd imagine the same as the previous box but it does say including exclusive borderless card art sure to delight long-term lord of the rings fans it'd be nice to see exactly what they're going to do it also points out keep it secret keep it safe this is full of treasures that any fan will find precious much of which will lie within the special edition collector boosters remains a secret for now keep an eye out for your favorite magic news sources for more details so it's an absolute mystery we are completely in the dark regarding what on earth is going to be in here and i have uh watched some interesting videos regarding what people believe could be in here and i am very very fond of one of those particular ideas and that's the idea of a baseball style fabric swatch card um problem with those is although they'd be wonderful a nice little piece of cloak from one of your favorite characters uh, signed in a beautiful border uh, it would be absolutely amazing uh, for people possibly more interested in lord of the rings than magic the gathering but with something like that it would have to be serialized and so therefore i don't believe this is something that's going to be put into this set but the question is there could be lots of other answers I would love to see Tolkien's original artwork some of his illustrations would be great on some full art basic lands that would look absolutely fantastic and definitely doable um, something that would be exclusive in the same way as we had the wonderful lands that were in the Phyrexia box so just to recap we have got a box that is going to cost approximately at the moment $350 it's going to have 12 packs as a normal collector booster box uh, but it's going to be coming out five months later than the original release date so as far as the prices are concerned all single prices would have dramatically dropped at that point so what is it that we're going to be paying our extra money for 
is there going to be something here so special that we're going to want it really badly? And obviously at the moment we have absolutely no idea what that's going to be. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the near future when we start maybe getting some spoilers and some little ideas of what could be in this. That will then change our decisions dramatically depending on what we're going to be told. Um, please let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Is this something that you would purchase blind and just think I'm going to have one of these anyway or what exactly would you like to see in this? It would be great to hear your thoughts about what you think should be in this particular box. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, do all the usual business. It will help out the channel hugely. Thank you in advance. And all I'd like to say is thanks for watching people and we'll see you again soon here on Cardboard Badger.